In a world where diversity should unite us, there's a dark reality that must be confronted. Meet your host has been attacked in Canada. The police say that it was a target attack against the Sikh community. How come you don't go back to your own country? Why are you coming to the white man's land? Who was allegedly beaten, dragged by his hair, and had his turban removed and stolen. The turban was ripped off. The hair was pulled out. The turban itself, we have not been able to locate. It was taken. But amidst the darkness, there's hope. Hope for a change, hope for empathy, and hope for unity. Hi, Ancestry Ecology. If you're new here, my name is Liz, and together my husband and I started this channel called Listenic. Wait, so you're probably wondering, what does Barbie have to do with bringing positive awareness for this Sadar community? Well, I took on this project of creating Barbie and Sadarji to represent the Sadars within the Barbie world. I would really love to see more Sadar and Sadarni reputation everywhere. I think the world needs more awareness, more empathy, more understanding, and more compassion. I myself too was unaware of the Sadar community before I had met my husband. You know, I didn't know much about Indian culture apart from what I had been taught in school. But now that I'm educated, I truly understand the importance of education for this community as it helps fight against hate and unnecessary bullying. I love my husband for everything that he stands for and his culture is what made him who he is today. So I can't love my husband without loving his culture. And I really hope that translates in this video. So to start off, what is the term Siddhar? In the Middle East, a Siddhar held an honorable position as a leader. They were respected and had admiration within their community. Today, Siddhars are recognized by their distinctive turbans, which symbolize honor, humility, and bravery. The turbans also represent the Sikh faith. Sikhism promotes values of equality, justice, and selfless service. These values are deeply cherished within the Sikhism and within Siddhars, who choose to embody this in their daily lives. Being a Siddhar goes beyond the appearance, it is a way of life. They are expected to be leaders within their community, upholding the rights of all individuals. So when you encounter a Siddhar next time, remember that they are more than just someone wearing a turban, they are a symbol of service, leadership, and equality. So the reason why I started calling my husband Siddharji and I forgot to mention, um, the G behind the Siddhar is just how you show more respect for the individual. So I always say Siddhar G and not just Siddhar. Um, just wanted to clarify that. So the reason why I started calling him Siddhar G um, was when we were in India um, for six months. Um, when I first started living there, I was always calling him baby because that's my culture i don't know why we do that in my culture but um it's just something we do so i was always running around the house babe baby babe and in front of my in-laws like my sister-in-law Didi, and my brother-in-law jg they're all like he's not a baby why are you calling him that and i'm like i don't know um so then I just started thinking like, what can I call him? What can I call him? And it was funny because that same week, my um, daddy G, my father-in-law had taught me, um, uh, there's like 10 or six to 10 different names um, for husband in Punjabi. And um, so I was going through all of them and I was like, I don't like any of these. And then I had remembered Sadarji, so I used that word and the expression and reaction I got from uh, Daddy G, Mommy G, and 
in my now. So Darji was like, I'm always gonna use that word. What impact have Sadars and the Sikh community have on the world? Well, they have aided in humanitarian work all around the world. Let's see. This is the largest free kitchen in the world. Open 24 hours year-round, this food hall feeds 100,000 people for free each day. And on religious holidays, that number can double. Just one of these huge bowls is enough to feed around 10,000 people. We visited Amritsar in India to find out everything that goes into feeding such a large crowd and to see just what it takes to make such big batches. This is Armandir Sahib, often referred to as the Golden Temple. It's the largest Sikh shrine in the world. But despite being part of the holy site, this kitchen doesn't discriminate. The food is completely free to anyone, regardless of religion, gender or ethnicity. Takanini, three weeks into Auckland's COVID lockdown. And hundreds upon hundreds of families are queuing for food. We were expecting 500, but we served 700 families yesterday. They're in need, and many are scared. What if I'm out and I, I get COVID and I don't know, and then my whole family gets it? People coming en masse to the Supreme Sikh Temple. This is the place where they can go if they are in need. Run by, supported by, and funded by the Sikh community. It's open to all, every New Zealander, and um, everyone is welcome. Blood, it doesn't see. Race, religion, gender, or even age. Donated, it saves lives. Every November, Sikhs around the world donate blood. We are proud to support Canada's lifeline and all the patients who are depending on blood and blood products. I absolutely love these examples. They are so selfless and promote so much peace within any community. In order to understand the role of Barbie in Barbie and Sadarji, first let's dive into what Barbie stands for. and I'll be a professor today. And I will be talking about the brain. Hi. Hello, I'm your veterinarian today. You're kidding. Nope, I'm Dr. Brooklyn. See? Okay, doctor. Oh, here, let me see. Good morning, everyone. I'm your new coach. My name is Maddie. Nice to meet you. I had the most fantastic day in the office. You'll never believe what happened. We got that new business I wanted. Have you ever seen him fly? Have you seen him what? Fly? No. My cat can fly. Okay. The dog's brain can't think as much as the human's brain because there's no high school for the dog. <laughs> this is Peter, the Triceratops. Peter is one years old. The T-Rex, Sally, is 1,2,252 years old. <laughs> Knees up like a unicorn. Higher, higher. I've been to New York, Transylvania, Pennsylvania. We can think and do lots of stuff with our brain. Now, does anybody know how big the brain is? Anybody? Sophia. It is medium. Medium. Very good. I love that Barbie commercial so much because for me growing up playing with Barbie as a little girl, that's exactly how it was for me. Every year I got gifted Barbies from my parents, from my friends, every birthday, every Christmas. One year I was a doctor, the next I was a pet doctor, a pilot, and so on. Since then, Barbie has been really fostering this message of inclusivity by creating a range of diverse dolls because they really want everyone to feel seen. Representation is so important. We all want to be understood and respected for who we are. With this new Barbie movie especially, there's so much more 
talk about Barbies and Kens all being different. In Barbie world, everyone is invited, everyone is accepted. Hi Ken. Hi Ken. Hi Ken. I got us both ice cream. Cool. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. And to hear from my Sadarji himself, my inspiration and my love, the one with the purest, sweetest, kindest soul I've ever met, please welcome my husband Nick. Oh, thank you for the awesome intro. <laughs> Uh, so what is one message you'd like the world to know about Sadars? Um, I would like the world to know that being a Sadar is not just the appearance or the turban. Um, it's the commitment, the equality and the service. I would like for others to know us better before judging. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I hope this um, video helps like open other people's minds. Yeah. And yeah. Um, thank you so much for sharing and for um, being supportive of this vision of mine and for wearing this costume. Um, yeah, I think you won husband of the year for this. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for uh, creating this awesome costume for me and thank you for being the best wife. Oh, no. So to summarize this video, Sadars are so, so kind. Um, they're there whenever you are in need and they promote peace, equality and selfless service. And Barbie stands for you can be anything, so just be you. And that's the story of Barbie and Sadarji. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.